today to deliver his State of the Union address. It'll be happening at 9 o'clock. Spectrum News 13's Washington Bureau reporter Samantha Joe Roth is on Capitol Hill. And, uh, of course, uh, Samantha Joe, we want to know, has the White House given any indication of what the theme of tonight's speech will be? Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm just Eric, the theme will be choosing greatness. According to officials, the president expected to urge Democrats to work with Republicans on issues like immigration. We are hearing the president is set to deliver a unifying message talking about bridging divides, healing old wounds. This speech really comes at a contentious time here on Capitol Hill. The last example of bipartisanship that we have seen is when the president put an end to the government shutdown by basically adopting the Democrats' position. Now, in the crowd tonight, we're going to see members of this bicameral bipartisan conference committee that is tasked with coming up with a solution when it comes to border security and, you know, the border wall. The president has already cast doubt on this, saying that he doesn't believe that they're able to come to a compromise and has talked about declaring a national emergency to get that border wall built. But we do not him to declare that in tonight's speech, Eric. All right, now, Samantha Joe, is there anything in the speech that uh, is likely to appeal to both sides of the aisle? Well, Eric, uh, the White House has really stressed that the president has been able to come to, to a compromise with Democrats on a number of issues. Uh, you know, for example, they agree about funding U.S. infrastructure, lowering prescription drug costs. And we are expecting that he's going to point to some of these compromises in his speech tonight. For example, uh, criminal justice reform, the First Step Act, passed overwhelm overwhelmingly in both chambers of Congress. And he's expected to highlight that tonight. Back to you, Eric. All right, Samantha, Joe Roth.